your forecast. Let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget. The heat, the heat, the heat. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it is June. We live in Texas, so we know it's going to get hot. Uh, it's 91 right now in North in North Dallas with a south wind at 14. You can see everyone on this Friday afternoon. Traffic already building there on 75, and we do have a lot of sunshine to greet you. Satellite and radar combined does show that we have some clouds off towards the north and to the northeast, but a lot of sunshine through the day. Now, the cloud cover that's making its way through Oklahoma, we do have a cold front that's off to the north and west, northwest sides of Oklahoma, area of low pressure back in the panhandle. Going to watch this area to see if we have some showers and storms developing along that that could then break their way down into parts of North Texas into the overnight hours. You see that right there on our future cast, but this is really picking up on what I think is going to happen. The trend is that those showers will continue to fall apart in the overnight hours and closer towards tomorrow morning. So I don't expect to see a big you know, rain event at all. The sear threat just brushes our Red River counties in the overnight hours for the potential of some of those showers and storms to try to hold together. What's really been holding on? The heat, 93 degrees right now at DFW. South wind at 20, gusting up to near 26 to near 30 miles per hour. With a dew point of 72, it feels like 101. Yeah, it's really hot out there. And as you take a look, temperature wise, it's not hot. This is where we're supposed to be for this time of the year, upper 80s to the low 90s. But we've talked in the past few days about that moisture content that's in the atmosphere. It feels like 101 right now in Mineral Wells to 105 in Breckenridge to 102 in Granbury and Cleburne. So this is a time that you definitely need to take breaks in the air conditioning if possible. Remain uh, hydrated. We still have this heat advisory in effect until 8. Now, it was expanded earlier today to include Jack County for that feels like value, possibly up to 105 to near 107 degrees. And we do have some of those reports happening right now. In the next six hours, temperatures remain in the low 90s for us. We'll see 102 uh, drop down, well, at least the feels like of 102 drop down, the feels like of 101 by five. Actual temperatures low 90s for us as we go through the next few hours. You're finally Friday night into the early Saturday morning, mid 70s again on the way. So, really muggy start to your day. I'm going about 95 for tomorrow afternoon again with that feels like temperature of 103 to 105. What's going on in the upper levels? We have this area of high pressure. It's going to expand a bit more. You notice around that, you have that clockwise flow in the upper level. So going into Sunday afternoon evening hours, we start to see more of a northerly flow aloft, and our surface flow is going to then turn a little bit more northeasterly. That's going to allow some of the moisture to get scoured out just a touch, and that's going to make it feel a bit better. But the drought monitor, just want to point this out. In early May, we were in a drought. Nowhere close to that, and we don't even have to worry about any drought conditions, at least right now. So, yes, it's going to be 96 Sunday, but then look at Monday and Tuesday, Brooke. Temperatures in the low 90s with easterly to northeasterly winds. It will feel better going into next week, and then we remain in the low 90s through next week.